This problem is about Newton's second law. Pause recording if you need to and take a moment to read through the question, picking out any key facts. So the key facts are that the lift cable can withstand a force of 18,000 newtons before snapping. The empty lift has a mass of 500 kilograms and the maximum acceleration is 2.25 meters per second squared. Although the cable can withstand 1800 newtons, it should never have more than two thirds of its braking tension. And we need to find how many 65 kilogram people can safely travel in the lift. So the first stage is always to draw a diagram. So what we could draw is our lift with some happy little people in the lift. Um, let's say we're trying to find N people and the lift is supported by a cable with tension T. So that's not a particularly useful diagram. It's actually more of a picture than it is a diagram. Instead, what we want to draw is a free body force diagram. So as our lift is our object of interest, I'll draw a dot to represent the lift. And then we need to draw all the forces that are acting on the lift and the directions they're acting in. So our first force is the tension in the cable, which is acting upwards and the force that's acting downwards is due to the weight of the lift and its contents and that will be equal to mass times gravitation with acceleration mg that's our diagram for what's happening to the lift when it's stationary we also need to consider what happens when the lift is moving or specifically when the lift is accelerating so the weight is a fixed quantity, that's not going to change, but the tension in the cable will change according to what's happening to the lift. So when it's accelerating downwards, the tension will get slightly less. And when it's accelerating upwards, the tension will be greater to cause that acceleration. So the maximum tension, T max, will occur when the lift is accelerating upwards with a vector acceleration of 2.25 meters per second squared as stated in the question. So that's the maximum acceleration of the lift. And the maximum tension in the cable will happen when the lift is accelerating upwards with that maximum acceleration. So now to solve this problem, we're going to need Newton's second law, which states that the rate of change of momentum of an object is proportional to the net force acting on that object. So now we need to set this up for the problem that we have. So looking at the net forces, acting upwards, we have the tension, and downwards, so that's going to have a minus sign, is the weight, mg. And that will equal the mass times the acceleration upwards. So filling in the numbers, our tension, T max, was 18,000 times two thirds, so two thirds of that, minus the mass of the system times gravity, which is 9.81, but we'll leave it as G for now. And that equals the mass of the system times acceleration, which is 2.25. And so 12,000 newtons minus mg equals 2.25 m. And what we're trying to find here is the mass m. So this m is the mass of the whole system. So that's going to be the mass of the lift plus the mass of the people in the lift. So as we're trying to find m, let's rearrange that equation. So that would give us m lots of 2.25 plus g equals 12,000. And g is 9.81. So if we rearrange that, that gives us that m equals 12,000 divided by 2.25 plus 9.81, which equals... 995 kilograms.
So that's our total mass. So we want to know the mass of the people, which will be 995 minus the mass of the lift, which is 500. So that gives us 495 kilograms. And we wanted to know how many people could safely fit in the lift if each person weighed 65 kilograms. So if we divide 495 by 65, that gives us the answer of 7.61. So our n is 7.61. At this point, we need to start thinking seriously about what the original question asked us to find, and is that a sensible answer? And here there are two things to consider. One is kind of order of magnitude calculation. Is seven approximately right? I would say for a lift, having a limit of between five and 10 people would seem sensible. So 7.61 sounds about reasonable. The other thing to think about is the rounding of this. So normally you would either leave it like that, but in this case, it's people. You can't have 7.61 people. You can't have 0.61 of a person. That's crazy talk. So we're gonna to need to round it to an integer value. And you might think that the closest integer value would be eight people. But in this question, that's not the right answer because we were told that this is the absolute limit. So the maximum number of people you can have is 7.6. You can't have more than that. So in this case, our answer for the maximum number of people is going to be seven people. Otherwise, you'll be disobeying safety limits.